Hey guys, this is Targraft and welcome back to another episode of Breath of the Wild, the Lost Episodes. Today we're continuing up uh, Zora's River to get to Zora's Domain, of course. Uh, so starting off uh, by sprinting up here. Um, sped this up by 500% um, because, it, I mean, it's, it's just going up places. I don't want you to see all of it, but... Like, I don't really have much to say. So yeah, we kind of like died a few, like almost died a few times here. Um, but we get through it, so we find the food and the shock resistance. Um, so yeah, you can see all the stuff that we're picking up and that. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna get to uh, we're gonna go down here and get to a bridge where we're gonna be able to meet Sidon again. Yay! Because Sidon is Bay, and everyone loves him. Uh, so. We've just got like three quarters of the way across this bridge and we're gonna be able to find Prince Sidon. Um don't actually know what I'm looking for here. Um but yeah, so here we are. Prince Sidon is going to uh be down there. Look below down here. Um and yeah there he is. I don't know how Link could exactly hear him from that point. But yeah, I, I guess you can hear him for whatever reason. Um, so, well, Link, beware while we're monster approaching behind. I don't know how we could see that either. Uh, so, yeah, now, now we get to face a, um, a, a moblin, a blue moblin. Um, and, I mean, it's not exactly the hardest enemy to face, especially with our edge of duality. Um, very easy. So now I can get all this moblin guts and fangs and horns. Um, and yeah, so we can continue on now. Up uh, to the main and back to 500% speed again. Um, and it's not... And it has, we don't have that long to go now. It'll only be like 30 seconds until we get there, which is of course five times what it should be, so it's like two and a half minutes it would normally be, so... It doesn't take too long, but I don't want this video to be like half an hour long as it originally was. So, yeah, we get like some nice red rupees from that, which is cool, uh, from destroying those metal boxes. Uh, and yeah, now we can head up over to Zora's domain, which looks absolutely beautiful um, in like in this part of the game because it's night time-ish. Um, but yeah, so keep on going down here. And uh, now we're back to normal speed again. So take that mobile out in one hit. And uh, we can see Zora's Domain, which looks absolutely stunning. And is definitely my favourite village um, in the game. And we got a tireless frog there as well, which is pretty cool. The board just running down there, which is interesting. Um, so I yeah, just need to eat some stuff here. Baked apples will get our health all the way up. Pretty nicely. And yeah, look at Zoe. So it doesn't it just looks absolutely stunning, in my opinion. Um, so there's uh, quite a bit of story at the end of this part. Uh, but yeah, no. Just, like, I, I still can't get over how nice this looks, even though I already knew what it looked like. It still looks just as good as it did the first time I played it. And I'm um, still in amazement in a similar way. But yeah, there's obviously a uh, shrine nearby indicated by the sensor, which is annoying. So, yeah. Um, but our shot resistance is just about to run out, which is like just in time, really. Um, for us. So that's pretty cool. There, go, there it goes. Um, and yeah, we <laughs> end up turning it off because it's so annoying. Yeah, here we are in Zora's Domain. Um, remember that there is another cut scene with Sidon, because Sidon's awesome. Um, and yeah, look at this. There's Mipha's statue. Um, and Sidon. Yeah. That's not Sidon. I messed up. Okay. Well, here, here he comes running towards us. Um, whoa. I've been waiting for you, Link. Look. Teeth Glint, of course. Best. Best thing about Sidon. Alright. 
So now we get to go to the king quickly. And, uh, and yeah, so uh, we're going to go to the shrine first, of course, speak to a few Zoras on the way up. It's me, Riven. We used to swim together. Don't remember. It sounds familiar. Over 130 years old. He raised well for Hylian. <laughs> Shouldn't you be dead? Yes. We are on guard duty right now. Uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. So, uh, just speaking for him for way too long. He's like, okay, don't mind. About me. Go to the throne. Everyone's just pointing us in the direction of the throne, but I'm like, nah, I want to go to the shrine. Um, because it's a shrine. And we need health. That's your bright eyed crab right there, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we just go around and get the fleet loads of seeds. As well as a silver longsword right there, but we don't pick it up because I think we've already got one of those actually, which is alright, I guess. Uh, so now we go in the shrine. Uh, it's called pushing power, and I remember the first time I did it. I I always forget that I can use Cryonis on any kind of water, which included um, the waterfall at the back of this place as well. Which you can, you can kind of see the little waterfall there. Uh, we have Zoe Spur as well, which we're gonna get because. Um, reasons. So we drop our current source bit and get this other one because uh, we don't. We want that little chest icon on our thing. Uh, so do I figure out how to get up here? Nope. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Uh, so yeah, you just want to wait for all these boulders to disappear, and then yeah, you can see the um, the water at the back here, which you can actually just that off which I wish I knew the first time uh, but oh well so just uh, push this out uh, so we can now just go straight down here and stop it before it gets down to the bottom um, so it requires a little bit of skill this one uh, so you break that and then go to stasis and then stop it. I don't know if that's like the best way to do it, but it's the way that I found was the best. So yeah, we stop time there and then just hit it like a couple of times. Um, and then it'll be fine going into the hole. And we almost get squished as well, which is fun. Get out. Hopefully we don't die. That probably could have actually happened as well. So... Yeah, okay, that's another um, thingy. Forgot about the names because um, whatever it's called, Spirit Orb, that's it. That's the one. Um, yeah, that, that caused quite a few problems in my first playthrough. I remember we stayed in there for about 10 minutes. As we did with quite a lot of the shrines in the first playthrough, especially like in episode 5 or 6. Too much time in the shrine, that one. We spent like 20 minutes in there. You link? Yeah, it is. No, they all hate us. All the old ones hate us because we apparently helped to kill me for it. It's like, no, 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 no. He's gonna push us. That's what I'd like to do, but no. Router? What? Who's Router? It's the elephant. I think this is probably the best lead up to a divine beast out of the four. Um, definitely this one is my favourite. Uh, then. The Gerudo is pretty good because you have to go and face the Yiga clan, which I didn't particularly enjoy that much, but I did like it. Um, then, uh, I mean, the Gorn and Rito ones aren't the best. The Rito one, you go, hi, hi, let's go, after shooting some targets. And then the Gorn one, you have to, someone following up, which is quite a good stealth part. Um, but, yeah, I don't know why I stopped there, okay. Uh, that's King Dorofan. We have reached Zora's domain complete. And now we get to speak to the king for the next, like, ages. He, uh, he's not very happy either. That guy. Hi, Sidon. Look how big mm -hmm. the king is. As well. Yeah. I am King Dorofan, ruler of the Zora. 
It's not actually because, like, yes, it is. Um, don't tell me you've forgotten me. We might have. Um, so yeah, it's going to tell us about stuff that's happened. My mind is flowing with nostalgia, my friend. Uh, but yeah, I've lost my memory. Of course, we know that. Um, yeah, me for who? <laughs> Doesn't ring a bell though. Because we. I. No memory. But I obviously know who Mifa is. We've got a new amiibo. All the champions have new amiibos. That's pretty cool. Um, revealed at E3 with the DLC packs. First one's coming on 30th of June, so I'll be covering that. Doing some Trial of the Sword and some of the hard mode. Which will be hard, of course. Um, yeah, we'll see how that is, I guess. Um, and then, of course, Champions Ballad, the second one coming this winter. Looks good. Look out for theory on that because I've got good idea what it could be. And theories are good. Not done the theory since February, which is way too long ago, and it's always already halfway through 2017, which is scary. But we're getting to the end of the episode, and I've been talking over them, so I hope that you've been reading it. But uh, so, ask how, so yeah, they're basically just asking us for our help with uh, the problem of the divine beast. Um, so yeah, so much rainfall on that. This actually takes quite a long time. This cutscene, I, I never realised. Um, yeah, here's the key to saving Dissolve's domain. I have no doubt in my mind. Indeed, Link is a champion through and through. Yes, I am. Um, I think Missouri, like the only tribe to notice that it's actually that Link is the champion, because all the other ones are like, "Oh, you must be a descendant." I think that's the uh, Rito. And uh, the Gerudo were like, oh, you can't be Link because you don't have the darkness seal and sword. Um, and I can't remember about the Gorons. That's the one I did the longest ago, actually. Because I've already done the Rito one. I have time of commentating over this. So, yeah. Um, so, obviously done these two. And then there's... Uh, Gerudo one mm. latest as well. Uh, but yeah, so the reservoir bursts, um, Zora's domain is going to get flooded and it's all going to be bad and stuff. Um, but And then we get interrupted by the Divine Beast, Raruta. Uh, so we fly up to the, um, the camera flies up to the East Reservoir Lake and we get to see the Divine Beast for the first time. All its glory. And its music. wonder if Varuta is the cause of all the rain in Hyrule, so whenever it rains, it's caused by that divine beast, which should be, which is an interesting thought, I guess. So yeah, um, so the mechanisms, the little orbs on the shoulder, um, are what, can, are what controls the water flow. So we got here with Shoko, so that's what we're going to go and be getting in the next episode couldn't tell. Uh, but yeah, it's always uh, vulnerable to electricity. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, that's kind of cool. And a good uh, reason uh -huh. why they need a Hylian instead. Or alternatively, they could have gone and got a Gerudo, who I like, apparently really like electric hmm. and have good electric resistance things like the Thunder Helm. And if they had just gone to get the Thunder Helm, it would have all been fine. Or ask for like Reju's help or something. I guess you could go like that for anything. For any of them really. Um, the Gorons could have probably helped with the bomb arrows or something. Or being thrown at the Divine Beast with the Rito. And uh, there's always probably could have helped. I just know. 
No, you can. This always couldn't have really helped anyone. No, I don't think it could have. Um, Vito probably couldn't have helped anyone either. Yep. Okay, that was short-lived. But yeah, we get the Zora armor because uh, we can now send waterfalls and that. Um, so yeah, next episode we're going to be heading down to the statue that like they're talking about because uh, Muzu here is annoyed and stuff. Um, maybe champion, but we've had no such relationship with him. But the tunic fits perfectly, so he's going to stomp off in a rage. Um, and yeah, that's uh, pretty much drawing the episode to a close. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I think we'll go back to the normal commentary over gameplay, like just normally, uh, in time with what we're doing, because the next three episodes of the Zora place are very important, and my reactions are good, I hope. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, hope you have enjoyed. Um, do leave a like and a comment. And uh, so you don't miss an episode, don't forget to subscribe, mess that up, set it in the wrong order. But yeah, thanks again, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.